name is Gwendoline Roberts. Um, recently, I've gotten married, so now it's Gwendoline Roberts Hartog. In uh, Chinese, my name that everyone knows me by is Wendy. And I've been a teacher here in China for the past four years. Currently, I'm with the Maple Leaf Education Systems group of schools. So I'm based at the Maple Leaf International School in Hainan, Haiko City. Um, at, I'm at the Maywen campus. There are several campuses, but I'm in the city campus. I've always been interested in learning and helping others learn. And um, in 2012, I moved to Montreal for a year. And whilst I was there, I had the opportunity to do some teaching courses. And from there, a couple of years later, when I was looking to change jobs, I decided, oh, where should I go? And I always wanted to visit China. So I thought, oh, why not combine the two? And four years later, here I am. I get up about 6.30, 6.45, depends on the day. If I'm trying to be fit, maybe 5.30. Um, I get ready, I have some breakfast either at my house or in the school cafeteria. They've got a delicious bean milk that I love. Um, from there, I have my lesson planning or directly into classes. If it's Monday, we've got our assembly. It's a big production. It's lovely to watch and to be part of. Um, about 10 o'clock, we have our mid-morning break where we do the infamous eye exercises. And at lunchtime, we have a two and a half hour approximately break from 11.50 to 2.40. Uh, following that, it's more classes or if I'm free, back to my office for lesson planning or I help with editing the school's English documents, their paraphernalia that they're going to distribute. I also edit for their online posts and things like that. I help the new foreign teachers to get familiar. I do some lesson planning for the different teachers or I review and then at 5 o'clock it's time to go home or dinner and then home. What makes Maple Leaf different? For me, first and foremost, it's the opportunities that it provides. Maple Leaf is a truly international school, so once you're properly qualified, certified and educated with the relative experience to go with it. You have access to schools not only into some of the best cities here in China, but also abroad. We've got campuses also in Australia. We recently acquired some property in Singapore and there's going to be a school there. Um, some of our students are also in Canada. And Maple Leaf offers a sort of dual curriculum. So students go from primary, the elementary, into the middle and then high school where they have access to an entirely Canadian education if they so choose. And this then offers them access and faster entry, I would say, into the best universities around the planet. So um, if I want to talk about my comparison between the different places that have been in China compared to Hainan, I would say Hainan comes out number one. I've been to Shanghai, I've been to many different cities within Hubei province. I've been to Changsha, I've been to Guiyang, Hong Kong, um, Hong Kong, Guangzhou, Hangzhou, the famous Hangzhou, and Hainan for me ticks all the boxes. You know, there's got the sun, you've got the sea, you've got the tourism, the food, oh my God, the fresh food, the seafood, you know. Um, the Hainanese people, I would say, are some of the warmest that I've met in China, generally. And you can't beat being able to finish at your job and then head to the beach. There's nothing better. I really like going to the Ho Shan Ko, the Volcano Eco Park. I really love Sanya and going to the Glass Bridge. You can go to see the famous um, statues there. Um, you can go to Wu Shan. I recently went with the Foreign Affairs Bureau. I've been to Pik Li Chi. You know, uh, we, I do the mar marathons here. I'm really big into running, sort of. I'm what you call a lazy runner. So I've been to the Heiko, I did the Heiko Half Marathon, the Danjo Half Marathon, and the Sanya Half Marathon. So I, um, I'd say that I'm a bit of a, a runner here. I love the beach, so my friends and I often go there. And if it's not that, then you can go to the Chilo Old Town to get delicious food. I love Chingbuliang. It's not for everyone, but I love it. Um, and generally, in Heiko, there's always something going on. You know, there's something going on in the Evergreen Park. I just recently went to a mini 5K, which is just a walk around the park there. 
or you go to the, the there's a mini park in the center of the city. I always forget the name that has some really beautiful bamboo designs. And so there's always something that you can do. You just have to get out your house, pick a direction and go. My advice for coming to China, uh, be prepared. There are a lot of legal things you'd have to go through, but they're straightforward. There are a lot of opportunities. You just have to be ready to jump on them. Hainan is an innovation hub now. There is a lot of tech going on here, a lot of free trade opportunities and space for you to develop your product.